Last time on Sea of Stars. Here's your soul stone. And we got the soul stone! Does that mean we can save Garl? Well, we have the soul stone, and that means it's time to save Garl! Right? More importantly than that, we also have the Graplu! Welcome back, my dear nerds. It's a sea of stars right here on Missile Died Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on yet another video. The last episode, we took down Romaya, and she gave us the soul stone we were looking for, which will help us save Garl. We found this, the Graplu, which now allows us access to a bunch of things that we haven't been able to access just yet. So, so like, that's pretty exciting. And we do find ourselves back in the flooded graveyard here where we were able to defeat all of the revenants and all of that stuff. So we're going to continue and I'm hoping get back to Lucent right away before... Oh no! Oh, I still got the grapple out. It looked like I wasn't going to be able to, but I did get it out. Now we've already defeated a lot of these as we've gone, so we'll just wrap this up as quickly as possible. Yeah. Gosh, they're so cool. Look at those, look at those Solstice Warriors. And definitely Cl Captain Cliche. Let's move. Uh, I guess we just have to just backtrack all the way back to before we came into the Necromancer's Lair. That seems doable. Watcha! And obviously look for any opportunity to do that. Uh, can we just ignore? Yeah, we can. I said, nah, I'm good. All right. You have returned with a soul stone. Quite impressive. Though I suppose this means the mistress will be quite upset with me. The exit path is to the right. You'll have to make good use of your grapplu. Thank you, Duke Gaventry. I hope you get to your friend in time. Farewell. Farewell, friend. I like that guy. I hope we, uh... I don't know, I hope we get to help him out, or... I hope we see him again. I have a feeling we will. I have a feeling we'll see... all of them again. You know? Now... Obviously, they said to go this way. I don't know if that means... We should? Like... Because there's probably stuff to explore now. Oh, this is... Okay, so this is just back to the complete area. Like, the, near the beginning of the flooded graveyard. Uh, back to... Oh, we found some mushrooms. Nice. Uh, back to where... Yeah, we weren't able to... Obviously, we weren't able to do this. But there is that rest... That camp right there. And the raft. And we could probably just jump down and use those. But we're not going to. We can jump down into here, though. It looks like maybe... Oh, I've never seen that before. We were able to get some shrimp. Neat. I have never seen, like, a clam thing that we could interact with. I know it's not that big of a deal, dear viewer, but, like, that's pretty cool. Grab some potatoes. Hmm, potatoes. Ah, now we can go this... Oh, neat. And then this... Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at us! Look at us! Discovering things. Wow. Wow. Okay, it looks like we have a little bit of a area here to go through. We can pull that. Oh, we have... Okay, it's a, it's a timer. Easy peasy. We get a chest. What do y'all think it is? An enchanted scarf. All right, well, if we go ahead and look at that for our boy Zale... Magic attack plus five. Okay, well, that's definitely just going to go on Zale then, and we'll... Get extra large spirit bombs. You know what I'm saying? We got the power belt, which maybe we should give to... You know, maybe I should... Oh, no, she has a power belt. What was I thinking? Yeah, I think we're Gucci here. All right, well, that's all we can get in this little area. That was fun. I wonder if that is everything we can get here in the flooded graveyard. I wish there was a way to check... 
like in the pixel remasters the final fantasy pixel remasters you can see like the chests and and whatnot is is left there oh that's so weird it looks like right that's not never mind <laughs> it looked like we could go through that but all right there doesn't seem to be anything else that we can find here in the flooded graveyard so my friends it's time to go talk to our well go talk to our fi oh you can go in the water i didn't know that Wait, so if we get into a fight with him... Oh, well, I was hoping that wouldn't be a thing. Anywho, I just wanted, I wanted to see if we could fight that one solo, but... Uh, I'm thinking maybe we should save here. Probably not the worst idea. And let's go ahead and talk to our favorite little... F Actually, can we... Okay, I was like, can we fart on these? This raft to use it, but no. All right, fairy man. A green flame you found, I see. Aboard my raft, I welcome thee. All right. Well, I hope we got everything from the flooded graveyard section. So, how does this work? It's pulsing. Maybe if I just... Uh, Sarai? So, uh, um, it worked. Great. Sarai, how long do you think the poison will... Uh, Sarai? She left. We didn't even get to thank her. What a strange character. Might as well get comfortable. This could take a while. <laughs> and then you were all, well, if I don't get a sword, how will I do backflips? You're one to talk with your bulwark of the innocence thing. I'm so glad you gave that up. To be fair, we did help a bunch of people already. Sure, there's just no need to act all grand about it. If we're ever to ascend as the solar one, I will be the spark. Oh, stop, I was ten! Valir. Something happened when he got mind controlled. What do you mean? I don't understand it. It it was like a floodgate opened in the pit of my stomach. Like when we were first learning magic? Sort of, but way, way stronger. Do you think it was the dweller? No, it didn't feel evil or even bad. A response to seeing Garl in danger. But I couldn't let it in. I feared it would overwhelm me. Hmm. Maybe I could have helped him, but... If Sarai hadn't showed up, he... Zale, we're all safe now. That's all that matters. I think that was my prophecy. What do you mean? The Elder Mist. He told me I had potential, but first needed to stare at the night inside of me. I think this is what he meant. The thought of losing a loved one. I felt the power, but I couldn't actualize it. I wouldn't overthink it. Prophecies are not swayed by the attention we give them. Aren't you curious about yours? He said I might be able to create paths on water. What does that even mean? Yeah, talk about cryptic. The way I look at it, it's going to happen or not, no matter how much sleep I lose over it. Hmm. You have such a relaxed outlook. I wish I was born on the winter solstice too. <laughs> you and Erlina sure have more intensity. I suppose you and I even each other out in a way. That's part of why we make a good team. I guess. Or maybe it's because stealing my live mana helps you show off. <laughs> Forget it. You do it way more than I do. Uh, girl! No, oh, I just said that. Uh. Hey, I... Welcome back, Garl. I just had a really bad dream, you guys. You're safe now, buddy. Don't worry about it. What happened? Remember how we couldn't stop that villager from entering the mansion? Oh, it's a bit blurry, but yeah. Well... The same thing happened to you, and... Whoa! You mean she could kind of, like, teleport? By carving magic gates out of thin air, somehow. This is too much. Hopefully we'll meet her again. I've got to see that.
Welcome to the first stage of grief. Uh, please have a seat and I'll be right over. Thank you, innkeeper. We won't be staying long. <gasps> Headmaster Moraine is here. I wonder if that means Erlina and other guy are here too. Why, of course not. Hey, that's the headmaster's voice. They're here. Finally. Took them long enough. Oh, there's Captain Cliche. Sarai's gone, and Captain Cliche is sitting by the fire. Who would have thought? Well, look who made it here on time. Hmm. Brewgraves, that's his name. Hey, everyone. It's so good to see you. The eclipse is upon us. I should provide your briefing. We wouldn't want one of you to end up mind-controlled by the Dweller now, would we? Uh, that happened already. Uh, excuse me? We went into the woods, and the Dweller mind-controlled me, but an assassin used paralyzing poison to buy some time, and they went to fight a necromancer, and... Uh, a necromancer? You mean to tell me Zael and Valir fought Romaya and lived? We had help. These two, I swear. No matter. We must leave for the Dweller's Lair at once. I will explain on the way. Last chance to make preparations. Let me know when you are ready. Yeah! Oh, this is so cool. They're here, man! Is he just, like, enjoying the... Ready to leave? No, 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 no. We're gonna do some shopping and stuff. Would you like to stay for the night? No, Edgar, we're good. Have a good day. Brugovs! The cleansing won't be easy. Better make sure you're well-equipped. Remember, they also have, like, something going on. Some type of... I don't know. But they're weird. They're, they're, they're being weird. Is it true that you were able to defeat Ramaya? Uh, yeah. Weird Alex Straza Garlian Orlina person. Alright, do you say anything new? Mm, nothing, huh, Captain Cliche? Okay. Are you really a group of Solstice Warriors? Yeah. Part of me doesn't want to believe, but the old man with the moon staff sure seems to know what he's doing. Wait, you're truly here to help. I... Yeah. Solstice warriors, you say? Well, as long as everyone is having fun. <laughs> Solstice warriors now? The stories we tell ourselves are getting pretty good. <laughs> uh, I wonder if our... Uh party says anything. No, I don't think so. Wanna see me slap into base, pal? Alright, well, let's go do some shopping real quick. More important than shopping, we have... Oh, they're playing patty cake and stuff. My mom told me you were solstice warriors. Is it true? I saw a group heading toward the mansion. Are you with them? Wait a minute. Another group? Or are they referencing us? Anyways, I think there was something here we could do. Yep, now that we have the Grapplu. I really like the Grapplu, you all, especially when it comes to combat and being able to get that boost. Uh, but it's just a really fun way of navigating the map as well. So, it looks like we can find a Obsidian Ore. Sell that for some Moolahs. And then it looks like we're back on this little... Ooh, okay. We're up on top of the inn here. That looks so cool. All right. Ooh, hello. A turbo cookie! Now, we can use the turbo cookie. Nothing of interest here. We can give the turbo cookie to that NPC that's, like, in the corner of the map there. That, I don't know, ghost warrior-looking person? And maybe, just maybe, that will do something else. There's nothing we can get over here. We could buy stuff, but there's no real need. So, why is that there? I don't know why that's there. But that's okay. Grab those potatoes and then... Oh, we have... That's right. We can check out Garl and make sure that Garl's... We, we can do... Oh, I should have unequipped! Oh, son of a... <sighs> well, I'm not going to go back and, you know... I don't know when characters leave. I'm playing for the first time, but... Dear viewer, maybe you want to want to equip Sarai before this. Okay, so we talk to them. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, hello. Have you seen my turbo cookie? I could really go about eating it right now. 
Uh, yeah, actually. Oh, thank you so much. Now my reign of terror can finally begin. Face me! What? Why, wait, I didn't know. Melee matey. Only 114 health. Wait a minute. Can I just, like, sunball you? Oh, you're... You're... You're just... Okay. Soul Rent. Oh, that looks like X-Strike from Final Fantasy VII. All right, Garl, it's been so long since we've seen you, bud. Nice job. Thank you. Search my grave. What is happening here? Oh, we get the shed key, which is for a door on the other side of this here. Well, that's interesting. I was expecting, I was like, wait a minute, is this like a secret boss that we just, but no, it's just like a random enemy. Very cool though. Why is that Greplu there? There's one here too. Maybe just to like move around faster. Anyways, grab these real quick because we can. Oops. I don't think there's like a Greplu in any of the buildings we can use, but no. Instead, now that we have the shed key, we can come over here and use it on this door. Yeah, which leads to a cellar. Okay, I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, what is what? Okay, we're we're doing stuff and things. We're fighting. What is that? There's like a little passageway thing. Nope. Uh, did you come to play? What? Yes. Oh, shit. Quizmaster. Good evening, everyone. Please welcome our new contestant, Zale. Without any equipment, how much MP does Zale's Sunball cost? Uh, uh, what? I'm sorry. Oh, and we have a lifeline we can call Teeks? That's cool, but I, I the answer is eight. That answer is correct. Also, look at all the NPCs there. The mole people are hanging out. I don't see any, I don't recognize like any story people, but. What? So is this just like a mini game? All right, next question. On Evermist Island is a secluded village where children of the solstice are delivered. What is the name of that village? Uh, Moon Cradle? Precisely. All right, next question. To use magic without using magic is to do what exactly? Uh, that's live mana to boost. Score one for Zale. All right, next question. True or false? Rochaves can be Rochaves can be found in the forbidden the false. Those are the enemies that we fought. That answer is correct. Next question. What is the name of the spiritual being- Oh, that's the Elder Mist. Found at the top of the mountain trail. Elder Mist. Oh, Y'all, we're cruise- We're- We're like Sea of Stars experts. When is Valer- oh, Really? When is Valer's birthday? First day of school. Uh, winter solstice. Score one for Zale! Oh, you are good! Here's a little something for that impressive performance. We get a shiny pearl. And game. As you can see, it's very simple. I ask some questions and you do your best to answer them. If you win, you get a prize. Oh, there's also a call on your friend thing, but I'll just let you experiment with that yourself. 
We've got a couple of question packs, but rumor has it there are more of them to be found. If you find any, be sure to bring them to me and we'll play, all right? Okay, that's it for today then. Thanks for playing, and I'll see you next time. What? But... I... We... I... We have a couple more question packs. What? What? All right, let's... Let's do it. Let's... Well, this is... Wait, so do we just... Do we just go back this way? Hang on. Do you want to play? Yes. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the quiz show with our contestant, Zale. Uh, oh, there's multiple versions of the question. Okay, well, let's do... Oh, experts. Oh, I'm scared of that, but all right. When is Valir's... Well, we already have that question. It's the winter solstice. That answer is correct. We do have called teaks as well. Only one, though. True or false? Okay, we got this one. What is the name of Zenith Academy's training? Oh, that's Word. W-Y-R-D. What is the name of the spiritual... Okay, that's Elder Mist again. We just have to be careful because they change the location. So, like, don't... You can just, like, cruise through. Facing an enemy with two blunt locks and two sword locks. Which combo move? Oh, that's Solstice Strike, which actually I need to use that more often for just that lock. True or false? Boosting regenerates MP. That is false. It does not. It'd be cool if it did, but it does not. We already had that question. So it's just this more of them without any equipment. How much recover is or how much MP is recovered from a regular attack? That's three. Yeah? Two, three, three. Yeah, answer is correct. Oh, you are good. Here's a little something for that impressive performance. So that was the expert mode. So we got teal amber ore. Uh, Want to play again? Yes. We'll do the question pack number two on. I wonder, I'm kind of curious if we do expert, will it count as getting the casual one as well? True or false? Those traveling by Yeet Ball... Wait, they call it Yeet Ball? ...land on Sleeper Island after being caught by Extol. That is true. That's tr That's... That was true. Yes. Precisely. All right, next... I can't believe they call it Yeet Ball. What is the name of the enchanted currency that can control the undead? That is the Coin of Undeath Accords. Score one for Zale. All right, next question. Yolanda, Valtrad, and Kenathan are part of a pirate crew led by... Captain Cliché, of course, but spelt like that and not like the other one. That answer is correct. All right, next question. Of these enemies, which one is not present in the Moorlands? Uh, the Moorland... The ants definitely are. The I think it's... The drill bats aren't, for sure. Precisely! Woo! Next question. What is the name of the raft the pirate crew used to sail across the shallow mire? That was the leaky sea... No. Oh my god, did they say that? It's definitely not the arm wrestler. Is it the... No, the leaky sea dog was the tavern. So it's the oakum skiff. Score one! Yes! All right, next question. What name did Malkamud give his pet... Sa that's just Rocky. Oh, shoot. Was it with a Y or Rocky IE? Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't call Teeks. I don't know what that does, so I don't... Rocky! Oh, no. Whoa, okay. Okay. I mean, I knew it was Rocky. I just thought the spelling was going to screw up. Of these establishments, which one is not found on Sleeper Island? Uh, the first stage of grief, because that's where we are now. Or, you know... Precisely. All right, next question. How many red berries are required to make one portion of berry jam? I'm pretty sure that's five. Score what? Yeah, five for each MP or whatever that you get from it. This is the way that I view that. In the stonemason's outpost, the Molkin are taking care of the wind tunnel so that they keep on fulfilling which function? They are playing music so that the sleeper stays sleeping. 
That answer is correct. All right. Next. Oh, my God. How many questions are there? True or false? The Molkin from Stone Mason's Outpost are descended from a long line of elemental mages. That is true, because Malcomood was, yes, precisely. Oh, you are good. Here's a little something for that impressive performance. That's so many questions, though. We get the teal, amber, ore. Uh, yes. Oh, so we have to do casual again. But that's less questions, I think. So, so you have to do both no matter what. So I guess let's do casual. Uh, why don't we go ahead and call Teeks just to see what that does, actually. Oh, this one's easy. Play music. <laughs> Precisely. Thanks, Teeks. All right. Oh, you are good. Here's a little something for that impressive performance. And we get a another teal air. Okay, so this one rewards. Yes, let's see. Nope, we don't want any of that. Cool. So I guess that's all we had, right? So I don't, I mean, all right. Sure, we'll answer some questions. And back out of the shed here. Uh, wait. Where? Where are we? What is? The smell isn't pleasant. All of the books in there look extremely old and boring. And we get an obsidian ore. Where are we right now? It looks like we're in another house. We can't get... Smell isn't pleasant. Uh... I am confusion. Was this here and I just didn't notice? There's also a lever here. Okay. Oh. This is... What? Well, I guess we'll just see what else is... Oh, I see. So we're down here where the woodcutter is. Hey, the ghost is gone. Was it your doing? It was, yeah. So we could, I mean, we could swim back up, but I think that's all we can get here. We did that, so we're fine there. Can we leave, actually, or will it not let us? Okay, we can leave, which is handy. Uh, because there is more we could do. And it sounds like the headmaster wants to take us directly to... Let's check out this real quick. I don't think there's anything here, but we'll just check. Because we have the grap loose, so I want to see what else we can find. Okay, so we can actually check with the ferryman to leave, do stuff, uh, to go back to the, like, we're not stuck, not, like, we, we have the green flame. We can go back at any time. Um, set up camp real quick. Girl! Almost time for the eclipse, huh? Yeah. Looks like that's all we can do. We should talk to Moraine as soon as possible. Yeah. But it does look like maybe there's some things here. So, like, if we talk to Moraine, I'm expecting that we'll just go directly to the mansion. Whereas, if we go do this stuff now, we might be able to get it before going to the mansion and defeating... The inevitable dweller of woe. Let's go ahead and grab Lou over. Yeah, look at that solstice shrine. Oh yeah, I want that. Whatever that is, I want it. Let's see. Oh. So the crystals light up. That's interesting. Do we have to light them all? And then there's something that goes in there. Nothing that we have. Huh. So we can go up here. We get whatever that is. Oh, we can't get up there yet. Well, hang on. We do have... Solstice Shrine Key A. So if we look at that in the items, does it say anything? Found it just says, okay. Oh, neat. Use that to jump up here and grab a Shimmering Staff. 
We get another... Are you kidding me? We get another upgrade for her that quickly? I'm so... I went through the majority of the whole... I've got like 13 hours! And now she... Okay. Anyways, we'll equip her with the Shimmering Staff. Increases damage dealt to Undead by 10%. And gives her plus one there. Whatever, dude. What? I'm not even mad. It's fine. And then we have... Maybe pop this. Cool. And then... Oh, no, no! Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, if we do that, let me use these to go up here. We can jump up, and then... I need to grab the other solstice thing so I can put it in there, right? Oh, I bet you I can lower... Great. Okay, I must be able to take one of the... Like, I can probably take this out now? I can. So we can take that out and maybe put it here? Oh, great. That doesn't really help if I can't grab that, though, does it? Alright, so that means we need to lower... I need to jump on this to get that one to go up. Perfect. We're so smart. Now we can do this. And now we can grab this one. Perfect. And we'll use that to go... Uh, wait a minute. We have to... We have to release this. But we can't use that to jump up there, so... Okay, so we need to put this here. And then we can come back over, grab this one. I got this! I got this! And then we'll we'll put this... Uh, we'll climb these. Oh, wow. Easy peasies. I love these puzzles so much, though. We'll do that. That'll allow us... Cool. And then we just do the same... Basically, just do the same thing. Take that. Whoop. That's mine. Thank you. Have a good day. And then we can put this in over... Well, I need to lower that first. My bad. My bad. I knew that. And then put that in... Whoop. Put that in there. And jump on top so we can get that one higher back... Hired up. Well, that was a pretty simple puzzle. I thought the crystals were maybe going to have something to do with it. I wonder if we were using Valir and she, if the crystals would go, like, turn blue. All right, so I know I saw we have another crystal there we can turn on. I get another chest here, which is a shimmering sword. I'm so... What? So we just got... N nice. Shimmering sword increases damage de dealt to undead by 10%. So Valir and Zale have that. So does Sarai, actually. She has... Shimmering Solstice Sash. Oh. Oh. So we have to get the treasure from every Solstice Shrine then. I love that. Let's see what that does. The. Solstice. Oh, yeah. Increases magic plus seven. So we're going to go ahead and give that to Zale to make those sunballs just ridiculously big. Huge, if you will. And then uh, I think we're going to go ahead and give... We're going to hold off, I guess, on the other accessory because maybe we can give it to... Maybe Sarai will come back? Maybe we can give it to Sarai. All right, cool. So Solstice Shrine done. Definitely recommend doing that before talking to Moraine, maybe? But I think we got everything there. Gouache, I hope so. That's all we can get here, so we'll head out. Back in Lucent, we'll go ahead and go into the grieve, the first stage of grief. Uh, actually, should we check the, see if there's anything we can buy here? I doubt there's anything new, but might as well check. Looking for equipment, nothing new we can buy. 
We do have some items, like, we could buy some of this stuff, but we don't need to. We can sell things, though. We did get the Shining Pearl, the Teal Amber Ore. We got a lot of stuff we can sell, actually. Look at that. Perfect. Now we can head out. All right, now we can go to the first stage of grief. Save, and then talk to Moraine. Hello, Moraine. Ready to leave? Yes. I think. Well then, let us head out. Stay close to me, everyone. Uh, onwards to the cleansing. Surely you weren't thinking of coming with us. Uh, hey, I can fight, and I'm a good support. Dwellers are impervious to all but solstice magic. Your mere presence would be a liability. Well, the Elder Mist gave me special permission. What? I'll know when to step aside. Don't worry. Uh, make sure you don't get in the way. You got it, Headmaster. Do you think we can get his staff? Because it's pretty cool. Which I didn't need to hear, given that Ernest is my middle name. Anyway, then he said he never used any spells on regular monsters, only to use nothing but the most expensive one when he fought a boss. <laughs> I am confused as to how any of this can be considered fun. Well, to each their own, I guess. Going somewhere, Captain? Hmm. She's so sorry. The game. Okay, I thought maybe the game was like gonna try to be subtle with her being her being Captain Cliche and Sarai, but nah. Oh, see, I knew it. They did take us directly here. If it's always dark here, how will we know when the eclipse happens? You'll know. Hmm. The curse of the night shroud is strong, but it won't withstand the eclipse. Can't wait to see that. Any moment now. Huh? Oh! Valir! Uh, that is so pretty. The time has come. Solstice Warriors, channel through me! Go, go, Power Rangers! Do, do, that was awesome! Quickly now, our window is short. Oh, this dweller knows that we're coming for it. We are here to. S oh, that. Oh my god, this game. It's so pretty. Erlina and Brewgraves, you will clear the basement. Do be careful. The glutton is a fearsome foe. We'll see about that. Hmm. Zale and Valir, you will cleanse the ballroom and make your way to the gardens. The botanical horror will pose a challenge, but you have what it takes. We won't fail. Remember what you learned. Lunar magic against the soul-based ones. Solar magic for those more concrete. What a, I didn't know. What a great line. I'm heading upstairs to start working on the final seal. Join me when you are done, and we will rid the world of the Dweller of Woe once and for all. Godspeed, Solstice Warriors. Oh. My. God. This is... So dope. This is so pretty. Okay, so we can go sealed shut. Okay, we can't go that way. Just kidding. Just some dusty old books. I can't. Come on, y'all. This game is just... I know every episode I say... Look at this. It has no right being this pretty. So it looks like we can go... We got a couple of ways. Merlina and Brewgraves are in charge of the basement. Let's find the ballroom in the garden. So that's that way. Well, if we go up here, will it, she stop us again? Or... Can't get to whatever that is right there. Looks like... Join me when you are done and we will rid the world. Of the... Not rid the world. You know... Ooh, we can turn on... Oh! Uh... 
Um, enter the secret. Yes. Oh. Well, look at the. It's a cute little like. We get obsidian. Oh, we get a. I didn't mean to jump down. Did you see that painting? It was like a, like a woman in white petting a monster thing. I wonder if these paintings are references to anything. I'm like looking at them. I don't know. It looks cool though. She's painting a like touching a dragon or something. Unsure what that one is. Just looks like a building of some kind, maybe. Is there any other? This one's already on. Yeah, see the same picture there too. Well, that's cool. So we get an obsidian ingot. Can we leave the mansion, I wonder? Can't let the others down. To the ballroom, then the gardens. Well, I guess we'll just go ahead and continue down this way. Uh, I'm unsure. I don't think the Cursed Woods had too much. Oh, Sarai's back. There you are. I can't fight the Dweller with you, but I'll do what I can otherwise. Hey, you must be Sarai. I'm Garl. Thanks for the help earlier. We're glad to have you back. Hmm. Don't mention it. Yeah, Captain Cliche. Sarai the Assassin. So now use the order command at the game menu or swap command in battle to change it. Oh! No way. You can swap in battle? No. You fibbing. That also means that we can change some of the things that we have equipped here. So we'll go ahead and give her... I'm actually going to give her the power belt, maybe. And then we'll give... Garl has... Actually, he's probably fine with what he has. I think we're actually just not going to use... We're going to use the Dextrix Bangle here on uh, Sarai. Actually, if they can't help with stuff, we're going to give the power belt... And then take her power belt away and give her the dexterous bangle instead. I think that might actually be a better idea. All right. Well, I want to get into combat now because I want to see what swap does. This place hasn't been cleaned in a while. Uh, that's okay. That's like the least of my concerns. This is so... Oh, my God. Oh, nice. They give us a... Save point earlier, just some dusty books. We can save if we so choose, might as well. Also looks like, oh, an enemy. Oh, I got it. Oh, there's two of them. Spell book. Ooh, the music shifted too. All right, so if we use swap, does that take our turn? Oh, that's amazing <gasps> no way it doesn't you could just freely oh my gosh it's like final fantasy 10 you just you could freely that is oh baby all right do we sunball these i say yeah oh yeah burn those pages Go ahead and boost with Valir and get... Oh, I was hoping that maybe it would kill it, but... All right, let's see what it does. Bubble drop. Oh, we've dealt with bubble drop a ton. Girl! Uh, actually, you know what, bud? We're going to swap you for Sarai here and use Disorient on this. Haha! -ha. We'll go ahead and attack this one. Nice. And Valir, get that, and easy. 224 XP. Books go bye-bye. Ooh, what was that? Hello? Thank you for getting rid of those evil spirits. Here, you can use this fire if you need to rest. There are other lost souls in this mansion who can help you. But they won't come out while evil spirits are around. Need anything? All right. Well, we're definitely gonna buy a spectral cape for um, for for Garl. There we go. And uh, we'll sell his pirate garb. I think. So there's no need no need to have that. 
Garl's got so much defense now. Uh, and I guess we'll set up camp too so that we can see, first of all, what this camp looks like here in the... Oh my god, I'm in love. Sarai's just sitting here. Sure, okay. The botanical horror. I'll help however I can. Okay, thank you, Valir. We have to make our way to the garden somehow. Uh, Garl? Your first cleansing! Are you a little bit excited? He's such a dork and I love him. Teeks, uh, we already have all the story stuff, so... I cannot believe that we can switch party members in battle freely with no- Ugh, so cool. Completely bro blocked from this side. Completely blocked, blocked, blocked. Doesn't look like we can- I do need to keep an eye out for more, uh, like chandeliers or whatever that we can open. Or turn on, I mean. For secret passages. Ooh, what are you? Grab blue! Oh, they were just dancing. I'm sorry. Waltzers. 99 HP. 90 HP. So are these considered soul-based? So lunar magic would do more to them? Oh my... Holy sh... Wow, that's a lot of damage. Alright, they are indeed souls, so they're vulnerable to... Wow. Alright, we're gonna see if we can switch to Valir. Ah, oh, I was hoping that would kill. Those are brutal, man. 224. Gotta get the timing right on those for sure, or else you are gonna be hurting. Looks like a lot of this is just flavor text to say that it hasn't been cleaned in a while. There's also a switch there. Let's go ahead and talk to the ghost that just appeared. Over generations, the evil presence has fully engulfed these rooms and halls. Are you here to help? Then perhaps you should take a look at the torch left of the fireplace. Okay. Cool. That's it. I was hoping they would, like, give me something. Alright, we'll go ahead and flip this switch. Do you say anything now? Okay. Bye. Well, I kind of feel like we need to... Oh, this is this area. Go ahead, grab that. I don't know. That did something. Must be this... Oh, this doorway. Now we can use it. This is... I love the music here and like that. Oh, so cool. Set of guidelines for those who used to work as servants in the mansion. And what's this? The note says, little juice boxes are for lunch only. Oh, that's true. That's true. You don't want to mess with that. We have more spell books here. Yeah! That also does damage, too, if you use the Grapplu. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use Moonring here for uh, a Valer. And we'll be able to break a lock here with Zale. And Sarai can use Disorient on this one. And we'll go ahead and use a big Sunball and hope for some big damage here. Deleted. All right, let's see what their thunder. Oh, we've dealt with that. Oh my gosh. We're definitely going to Mindy Glide real quick then. Did you see that? So we can actually use, even if, so like we can, obviously we can swap to Garl at any point or, or whatever, but more importantly, it looks like we can actually use combo even if they're not in the party, which is really neat. Uh, so let's actually go ahead and we'll swap her to Garl and then he can boost and hit this. Kill it and broke its lock, heck yeah. Nice job, Garl. More importantly, I did see that there is a chest over here and a rainbow conch, if you see that. We get a recipe for Moon Cradle Fish Pie. Oh, that's the one that's really good. 
that's the one that gives the entire party, uh, I think 55 health and five MP, I believe. All right, so it looks like we can't, we have to talk to this. Hello there. You look strange. Were you alive or something? Hey friend, we're looking for the ballroom. Do you know where it is? Oh, yes, it's somewhere beyond this door. Tell you what, you make me a sandwich and I'll open the door for you. Deal, how do you like yours? My favorite is pretty simple. Two parts par, four parts dust, three parts sugar, and one part rust. Huh? Between two slices of dread, of course. Okay. Where can we find these ingredients? Oh, the kitchen has it all. Let me get the door for you. The recipe's on the counter if you need it. And please hurry. I'm starving. Uh... Oh! Looks like we can get some free... Free milk and... Is that milk? All right, so we got to open. It looks like the rainbow conch is another secret passage there for sure. So we have to find another one of the braziers and open them. So we got to go to the kitchen first. This is, this is weird. Oh. I'll get this going. Do you mind gathering the ingredients? Uh, yeah. What is... Master sandwich recipe requires two parts of par, four parts dust, three parts sugar, and one part rust. All between two slices of dread. I guess if we... That's dread, so we'll get two of those. Um, a rusty rod. We need one. One rust. Sugar. We needed three parts of sugar counter is full of four parts dust and whatever hapar is hapar was two parts I think that's everything let's see what we have here hapar dust sugar rust slices of dread want me to start cooking uh yes all right it's snack time just give me a few minutes you got this girl I don't. And done. We should go see that ghost now. And we got the master ghost sandwich. That sounds good. <laughs> Can I eat it? Is it in our inventory? I just want to see what the flavor text is for that. As good as it gets for a ghost. Nice. Did you make my sandwich? Let's eat. Oh, that is one good sandwich. Here's a little extra for your trouble. A hundred? Whoa! A deal's a deal. The ballroom is through the library behind me. Just crown the king, and you're basically there. Crown the king. All right, so we still can't get that. Secret passage, though, I'm sure is coming up. This area is so dope. So, so, so dope. Oh, we have another thing here. To open the secret passage to the kitchen, just look at the pot in the garden. All right. Keep that in mind. That'll lead to our crown there. We got more waltzers. I'm a little scared of these, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that we just do a tough. Why don't we do... hit the book we get a can't do disorient we could do a venom flurry but I'd rather I think I'd rather get a bigger boost for Valir's moon ring so I think we hit this this fight is kind of scary Oh, the timing on that is real hard. Oh, that's so hard to hit. All right. So then we'll do a triple boost with... Oh, shoot. And we will actually... 
I think we're gonna hurl the waltzers over there. We get hit by fire. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to use a uh, triple boost and venom flurry and hope for the best team. All right, we got rid of a waltzer. I'll take that. We need MP on Valer. So we'll hit this. Get rid of the waltzer. We don't have to worry about that now. Zale's back up. Zale, my guy, listen. Do this and then a dash strike. And we'll call it a day on these, I hope. Yeah, I got the timing. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. We got plenty of time here, so we're gonna do... See, the thing is, is you can't swap once the character is down, so it's not like we can do that. Uh, but we can... We're gonna Mending Light, obviously. And we'll just be able to do... It's got 10 health. Like, we'll just kill it. All right. That was, uh... That was a little... That was... That was scary. Oh, you're twinkling. What you got? Ooh, question. Oh, we could go back and do the questions. I wonder if you have to go all the way back here throughout the game or if that quiz pot thing will have different areas. Oh, it looks like there's a crown. All right, so we need to get the crown to do the king. Well, oh yeah, okay. So we have to get the crown to put on that's head maybe. Look around real quick, make sure. All right, got another spell book. No waltzers. All right, we did it. <laughs> Darn books. I I was fine. I was fine. My health was fine. What are you talking about? Uh-oh. Oh, we, we were able to save the ghost. You're welcome, ghost. Right. Every room is going to end up having that. So let's grab this. The king is wearing a knight's helm. Okay, so we take the knight's helm. So that's, and we put that on the knight over there, maybe? Doesn't look like there's any other items or anything, so we can talk to... I miss Lucent. Oh, that's it, huh? Oh, they're probably gonna put a thing there for us, so we'll go ahead and put the knight's helm on that. There's a crown we can grab here. Obviously for the... Oh, there's a ghost here too. Hello. I woke up one day and the night shroud was just there. Huh. So this was, this mansion was Duke Aventry's, the person, the groundskeeper that we saw at the beginning of the episode and fought as well. Looks like there's stuff over here. Oh, and a ladder. Nice. Uh, don't know why, but put the crown on him. Oh, it's another puzzle. I see. Okay, I'm unsure though. So dusty, it feels like it might decompose. So we have a puzzle here. Okay, so we have four skulls. And then there's skulls. Oh, wait a minute. Is there more skulls on? Okay, there's skulls on this side too. Oh, okay. So we just need to. Um. So we take that and put it here, maybe. Oh, we can just keep clicking through. All right, so we do that, head, and then ant, bird. Oh, wait, I was just on the bird, bird. Right, that's that side. That one is bird, ant, human minotaur. Okay. This is ants. Bird. Ooh, oh, I knew it was going to be something. Is that a... I think that's a new combo thing, which is cool. Let's go, dude. What do we get? Zale and Sarai learned combo skill X-Strike. 
Ah, uh, yeah, what up? X-Strike is also a thing. Like, that is also an Easter egg in reference to... I think there's an X-Strike in Chrono Trigger as well. X-Strike, Sword, Sun, and Venom damage that hits all enemies. Oh, baby. Now that's some lock breakage right there, ain't it? I guess we will just continue through the door that just opened up. Oh, over by the king here. Remember, we're going to have the botanical horror probably any time now. There's a chest over there. I see that. Keep an eye out for... Uh, oh, I see, I see. Uh, we can climb up right here. I almost didn't see that. And then we can use this to climb down here, get this chest. For a spectral cape, another one. Can't jump across there. Wasn't sure if maybe we could use a grappler. What is all this? Is that from the eclipse? The, like, spell effects there? Okay. So... Sarai has the spectral cape. Oh, we, we just bought one! Oh, I wasted golds. Was that all we could get over there? Oh, this side of the wall feels brittle. Let's see if we can break through. Oh, does this lead us to... That did it! Should be a useful shortcut. Ah, right back to... Nice! Right back to the camp here so we can rest, which is useful! And now that we are rested and saved, go back through that cool little shortcut that we just made. And we'll head north here. Spooky, he says. Oh, see, that looks like something too. Remember, we want to keep an eye out for... We have more waltz. We'll go ahead and hit them with that. I'm going to go ahead and throw a Moonerang out right away. This actually is where I think her Lunar Shields would be incredibly useful. Is on these, these enemies in particular. Nice! Ooh, dang, that's so much damage. Spicy, baby. And you know what we could do, actually? Like, in between, I could use Garl. Let's say he's not... Just do that, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty cool. Alright, so I was told, look for a pot. But that's the pot in the garden. Looks like... Oh, we lit... When we defeated them, this got lit. Oh, it got lit, all right. So we'll go ahead and hit these two. And I don't think, like, we could use Sunball, but I don't think it's worth. All right, so we'll go ahead and use a double boost on Valir. 57 damage. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. And we'll just use a boost on Valir, and she can finish that one off, too. Really easy to defeat those once you know that the, the thing that the headmaster said about you know, soul-based or or material-based things is very helpful, actually. Looks like there is something over here. Can't click on that just yet. Both of these are lit, so this ghost appeared. Thank you for clearing the evil spirits. It sure feels warmer now. Are you going to the gardens to fight the botanical horror? I am, yes. I hope you know what you're doing. Me too, friendo. I mean, we could have saved again, but... Oh, hello. This chair feels very cold. wonder if we're supposed to do anything here. Oh, so even if you're... Weird. I wonder if that is anything. Or if it's just like a flavor. All right, we're in the gardens. I'm expecting a boss to show up anytime. Ooh, food. Hello? There is a ghost there. We're looking for a pot. This is a pot for sure. Seems to be a switch. Yes. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's go. 
Secret passage time. We can grab that rainbow conch. Yeah, knew it. Perfect. So that's, I believe, 21 rainbow conches. And then it looks like there's a ton of items, like uh, food items we can get over here. I guess let's just go around the maze and... Oh, these things are back. Interesting. Grab those berries. Looks like we can come over here, grab these berries as well. All right, so real quick, running through this hedge maze. This is so cool. That's a lot of eggs. Oh, the bobbles are back. Well, if this ain't a job for our boy Zale, I don't know what is. We're going to get Sunball. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Wow, these enemies feel like they're nothing now. Like, compared to how they felt before? My gosh. Oh, gosh, I love that animation so much. Reminds me so, so much of the the plant brain enemy in Final Fantasy IX. And if you've never played that, you're missing out, and you absolutely should. All right, let's collect more of these as we go through the maze, getting the final... Ooh, look at all those eggs. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Pickled eggs. Delicious. This area is so cool. I This whole section of, like, Wraith Island and Lucent. Oops. Meant to use my grab blue, and I did not. All right, so we actually can't use Sunball just yet. Uh, but we can use... I think what we want to do here is actually just go ahead and use... Uh, well, we can get a boost... We can get a moon ring. Oh, just enough to kill that. Love to see it. Goodbye, Lonzon. All right, and that will clear this final thing and give us access to the save point here, which is really nice. Oh, but it didn't open up that. Interesting. We do, of course, have the, the... We do have the save point and a camp, though, which is really nice. So we'll go ahead and uh, just rest up here. All right. Now that we're ready, we're going to face the botanical horror. <gasps> oh, my God. No wonder why. It's so... F it's so like the... Oh my god, I'm so happy. It's like the plant brain from... It really is. Oh my god, I'm exquisite. All right, so botanical horror, bottom flower, top flower. All right, so it looks like we have... We have a lot of things. Hmm. All right. 105 health on the two top flowers. It looks like the middle botanical horror maybe can't be attacked um because it doesn't i'm not seeing a thing so i think we have to defeat these and then we can attack the middle so let's go ahead and uh start attacking this go ahead and get a boost here with valir on uh this one 83 health all right Whoa! Okay, those don't do that much damage, so I'm not super worried about those. Uh, I think what we want to do here is... I can do a Disorient. But I think we're going to save the Disorient. We're going to attack this top flower. Quill Shot! Oh, okay. One of those. Nice. Okay, we can reduce a lot of that damage then. Uh, all right, so... But we want to kill everything evenly. Right? So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to do going to attack this one with... Uh, yeah, 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 this is fine. And we'll attack with Zale here on this. And we will use 
Now, if I am able to get... I was hoping I could swap to Sarai, but I think if we do a big boost here, I can use Moonerang and maybe do enough damage to... I gotta do 66 damage. Well, let's, let's see what happens. Oh, that is a really hard... Uh-oh. Oh, no! Wow! Okay. Well, friends, these are all really low, so I think we're just gonna use her... This is probably a bad idea, but we're gonna do it! All right, we took out all the flowers. Now we need to, I don't know, get our team up. I mean, we're gonna be wasting a ton of time doing that, but they each have one star. So we're just going to, oh geez, I don't know. Let's attack so we have MP. Oh, they're all up. All right, and now we're gonna combo. Ooh, do we wanna, I think we wanna wait though. We wanna wait with that combo. I know we, I, I, yeah, I think we wanna be as, Oh, man. I don't know, dude. I think we want to do as much damage as possible. Uh, so we're going to use Valir here. Botana, it's got to be weak to... Like, it's got to gotta be weak to Sunball. And then, actually, if she does Disorient... I'm, at, I'm genuinely curious if this will make the botanical garden perfect uh and then we have zale has to attack here we got two boost i think we do two boost we do big sun ball hundred and thirty damage to that we could use the Solstice Strike to get some MP back for everybody. I think that's what we're going to do here. And unfortunately, we we could use X-Strike, but I think what we're going to do instead is we're going to use another Sunball. I don't have a boost for it, but I think we're going to Sunball with the amount of MP that we have. And then we do have enough. Oh, I messed up. But we do have enough still. We did a lot of damage to it. I knew it. I knew that was what. Oh, but it has less health this time. Interesting. So they came back with less health. I think what we're going to do, though, is X Strike because we haven't seen that yet. Or do we wait a turn until we get. I think I think we wait until we see uh, what they're going to do. So let's attack this first. All right. And now we will do. Well. We'll boost, and we'll do... I mean, Solar Rain... Solar Rain is probably a better call. Actually, I don't know. I think we just do... I think we just do X-Strike. I want to see it anyways. Let's go ahead and use it. Oh! That was so cool! Oh! Oh! All right, that was amazing. All right, we're gonna use a potion, uh, not a potion. We're gonna, oh no, I don't have any, do I? Darn, I wanted to get her MP back up, but she's not gonna be able to, so we will uh, just attack. This is a really cool fight though, y'all, really cool fight. Unfortunately, she's not gonna actually have enough She's not going to have enough MP for another Disorient, but... I think we're doing great here. I could Lunar Shields. She's got the MP for it, so I think we're actually going to go ahead and... 
mean, this thing could be close to dead. I don't know. There's only one of it left. I say we... Solstice Strike wouldn't be the worst idea because we... No, no, no. Let's Lunar Shield so that we're ready for these coming back and regenning. All right. They're back. And now we could... We could Venom Flurry. I don't think we do that. I think we just hit one of these. Oops. Not super worried about. I want to be able to do the combo. So I think we just use, you know, actually, let's just go ahead. We'll use Venom Flurry and hope for the best here. Uh, I need to be able to, the problem is, is I need the combo, right? But we're not going to be able to do that. So 19 health on those, 31 on that. All right. So I think what we do is we, we hit this one. And then, man, if I had MP, we'd be in a good spot, but we don't. We can't do combo because the combo is not high enough. Actually, the combo will get high enough here, which is funny enough. Uh, oh, man. What we're going to do is we're actually going to use a mushroom soup here so that we're all full health. All right, this is quill shot. All right, we did that awesome. Uh, and then I think what we want to do is we're going to save those boosts. We're going to do the X-Strike because we know that all of this is... Actually, you know what? Maybe we don't even want to do that. We know X-Strike will do a tremendous amount of damage, and we don't necessarily need that. We actually just need to do, like, a little bit. I wonder if you were to use... We could just use Dash Strike. Yeah, that's more than enough damage to finish those off. All right, and now we need to take down the Botanical Horror. We can do X-Strike on just that. You know what? Why not? It's hot. Let's do it. Okay, that did, like, no damage. <laughs> My bad. All right, we'll do Solstice Strike. Finishes off the botanical horror. That was a great fight. Oh, I loved that. All right, we accomplished our part of the mission. Let's regroup with the others. That was just so duper Roonies. Man, I loved that. Okay, cool. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything we can get here, though. It's so dark. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. I feel like I played that well. Maybe made a couple mistakes, but not too bad. The dweller is yours. Good luck. No, wait. Oh. You took all my gear. All right, well, we have another. We can go ahead and rest. Actually, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely need, we'll, we'll need to use this. I'm actually realizing that one of the big things I would change uh, is every level from the, the very beginning. Anytime MP is offered, I think it's worth going MP uh, on everybody. I think MP is now that now that I'm seeing the power of of things like disorient and everything else, it feels very much like it is worth it's worth doing those things. All right, so we can go into this room now. We weren't able to go in here. Oh. A music sheet. Music sheet number 2. So I'm guessing that means the pirates can now play more music. All right. Well, we're done here, which means we can go back to the uh, the headmaster and see how he's doing. We were having dinner right here when it happened. Huh. I'd steer clear of the maze if I were you. The botanical horror devours all. Oh, we defeated that though. That was the, we can't use that. That was the secret, secret passage. So we just got to go all the way back. That random ghost girl. I wonder if that's like a, I don't know. It doesn't seem like we can do anything with that. They don't say anything new. 
I'm not seeing anything opened up, so we'll just continue out. Oh, wait, the shortcut's here. That's right. Now we're back in the main area. We could save again, but we're fine. The haunted mansion part has been so cool. I'm assuming they're fine. Oh, that's... All right. I'm, like, a little nervous. Good work taking down the botanical horror. The Dweller of Woe is behind this barrier. Join me now. My dear Garl, your courage has been humbling, but you absolutely have to sit this one out. No worries, Headmaster. I'll just watch. Huh. In position. Remember, though, Erlina has some issues with the Headmaster and the Solstice Warrior stuff. The rune I prepared will force the Dweller of Woe to materialize. I will have to maintain focus for it to be vulnerable. I trust you to keep me alive and take down this spawn of evil. You can do it! It comes! Brace yourselves and do not be fooled by its appearance. It is immensely powerful. Oh, but it's so pretty. Oh! What the? F okay, so remember, dwellers are only susceptible to solstice magic. That's why they're solstice warriors. That's why Garl is 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 useless for this. Uh, all right, well. That is amazing. All right, well, we can... Oh! Looks like we can use Moraine to hold Rune, focus on Lunar Rune to increase party damage or heal. Uh, I think we're gonna hold Rune. Mirror images. I mean, if I, if I sunball it, we can get rid of the mirror images. That is a lot of damage. Uh, Erlina's dope. Okay, cool. We'll go ahead and moonering here, I guess. This feels like a story battle and not necessarily like a... Oh, Brugave is doing work, dude. All right, let's go ahead and hold Rune again. Oh, whoa. Whoa, that was... I want to be able to do that. Uh, I'm a little afraid of Erlina and them, dude. feel like they could whoop our butts. All right, so we have to figure out what to do here. Um, we can... All right, I know exactly what to do. I don't. We'll use a uh, big boost here, and then they're really, really weak to... Okay, they're real. I got... I have an idea. That does so much damage. But it then gives us the combo, so then we can Solstice Strike. Which will take out most of the locks, except for the Lunar one. 
And then we'll use hold rune. No reason to heal just yet. I don't think we can do any timing on their abilities, unfortunately. All right, so for this, we're going to go... Oh, nice! Okay, so that actually affects the locks. I didn't I wasn't expecting that. So obviously we're gonna use Moonerang then. When it's just the one of her, break her lock. This is pointless. It won't even show its true form. So much for that rune. <sighs> oh, the preparations were done properly. We just need more direct light from the eclipse. Garl! Get up onto the roof and find a way to let more light in. Now! I... Okay, I'm on it. All right. I won't let them down. There's got to be a ladder here somewhere. We get to control girl! My guy! There is a ladder. I saw it when we were coming in, and my thought was, ooh, I wonder if there's an item up there. So far, so good. Now to find a breach or something. Okay. Uh... Oh, it's gotta be the... Oh, I saw it. I saw it. There was a little... Too solid. Gotta keep looking. This wood right here? Is there some... Oh, there it is. This isn't it. Come on, Garl. Your friends need you. Oh, there it is. All right. There's an opening behind this debris. Time to smash through. Now, let's... Let's see now. It's all clogged up with rubble. Ugh, too heavy for me. Can't give up now. Think, Carl, think. Oh, that thing Yolanda told me about gunpowder. Maybe if I just... Ah, I bet this will do just right. Okay, better find cover. Dude, did she just make a bomb out of his cooking pot? It worked! That's bound to come in handy later, too. No way. Garl learned combat skill cooker surprise. Yo, my guy. What the? He could have warned us before pulling something like that. He did it. Perfect. The dweller is showing its true form. Let us finish this. Uh, what the actual, holy smoky artichokey. That is, yikes. All right, well, we got to break this lock. We don't have any combos. We can attack, because that's really all we can do right now. And hope that our... Okay, so Brugaves use that. Uh, unfortunately, she is not able to do... We need to attack to get the MP back regardless. Alright. Orlino, what do you got? Nice! Uh, I'm thinking we risk it for the biscuit and we use hold rune. Pain. That is just some of the coolest flipping design, man. It is so cool. Now, we can actually break this lock immediately with a Solstice Strike here. And then we're going to go ahead. We have a two boost here. So we're going to wait. Nice. We're gonna we're gonna heal here. Oh, it doesn't heal for that much though. I was expecting bigger heals. All right. So unfortunately, we need to attack with slashing. Yeah, we have to attack with slashing here. Uh, but I was thinking of boosting as well. I think we'll save. I can use at least one. Two hundred and two damage. So much damage from that spectral scythes. 
Oh my god, you're so cool. That is... Oh my... I want that attack for them. For, uh, for, you know, our heroes here. Uh, we're gonna hold rune so we can increase damage. And then we're going to... I could double boost. I think we're just gonna regular attack. And then we'll use this triple boost on... Oh, thank you, Orlina. Yeah, we'll use the triple boost on, uh, Sunball here for a ton of damage. Oh my gosh, 954. This is... Oh no. That is really cool. Seeing what a real Solstice Warrior can do, huh? We're gonna go ahead and hold Rune. Continue attacking with Valir. And... Keep attacking with Zale here, too. Definitely feels... Oops. Feels like more of a story battle, for sure. But that's okay. Oh, no! I'm sorry, Valir. All right, we'll go ahead and heal. I think we just double boost and use Moonring. That model is amazing. The design. Yeah, Erlina and Brugovs, like, have this fight on their own. We're just kind of here to, you know, continue. We'll get the runes so we do more damage. We're going to use, uh, we're just going to attack. So that Zale can do a big sunball. Oops. I don't know why I messed that up. Spectral Scythes again. That's okay. Uh, if we heal... Okay, I won't use... We'll just keep using rune. So it looks like you can't actually die here, which is interesting. I mean, I guess unless Moraine is killed too, but... All right, that's a big lock, baby. So we're gonna use a, we're gonna use a combo here for sure for Solstice Strike. That'll break a ton. And we'll actually be able to break this lock again by using another Solstice Strike. Love that. Sunball, even though we don't have a boost. And Moonerang. And we got it! Dweller of Woe has been destroyed! In a... F amazing way! Quick! Obliterate the core! I won't let you! Uh, 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 what? Sarai, drop your weapon right now. Tell them what you... Uh... Erlina, explain yourself at once. Use the crystal now, Brugovs. I'd rather make this quick. Huh? Brukovs, don't! Hmm. We tried reasoning with you. You left us no other option. Do it. So, 
You really did hold up your end of the bargain after all. Go back from where you came, fiends. These minds are not yours to twist. Oh, is the old man tense? Tense and confused, too. What do you want? Why, the very same thing as your two former friends here. For those born during a solstice to live free. Are they not forced to train? Train and fight horrors, too. Liars! You worship the Fleshmancer! Without Solstice Warriors, the world would be doomed! Hmm. This meets our conditions. Erlina, why? Hmm. We took the deal. All they asked was for us to conjure a Blood Moon. And then there will be no more of this nonsense. Ugh. I... A blood moon and a dweller core. No! My, you catch on quick. At long last, the dweller of strife will be resurrected. Resurrected and made stronger too. Brugovs, how are you okay with this? Have you ever wondered what it would feel like for your life to be your own? But why? We just defeated the last dweller. You can't truly know that. Don't you see that absolutely none of this endless conflict is your fault? That doesn't mean it's not our responsibility. Uh, or yours, by the way. It's not too late, Brugovs. Destroy the core. I'm sorry, Valir. We made our decision. Why give up now? Some of us could still ascend. Into guardian gods? Don't make me laugh. How many centuries were spent suffering in wait for this fake promise? Don't you think it would have happened by now? Uh... Enough talk. We must complete the ritual before the eclipse subsides. No, you can't. Oh, I believe we can. Can and will too. The time has come to resurrect the Dweller of Strife. Now give us the Blood Moon. And with that, we'll see you in the next episode.